it has come to Gary's attention that sales have not increased by a noticeable amount, despite handling all the employee concerns last week. Gary realizes what may be happening here. There were barriers preventing effective communication between him and his employees. I better get to the bottom of this. Sales are exactly the same as before, and we spent a lot of time and money addressing the issues raised by everyone. I should look at the office dynamics. Maybe that'll help. He knows that communication is a seven-part process that functions like a flowing current. If blockages in that current occur, the message will not be adequately received by his sales team. He sets about overhauling the existing system that he used to set his sales goals. He decides to use written communication to set the initial goals. This way, his employees can refer back to his mandates if they need to see what's expected of them. He will use oral communication to give them feedback on their sales figures, as this information is time-sensitive. With a smoothly flowing current of communication, the sales team is able to maximize their efficiency and meet their goals.